What's up? Welcome back to my channel. So it feels like it's been forever since I've been sitting in this chair talking to you lot. And in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you five fragrances that I think are going to be perfect for this Christmas and the holiday season. And just in general, to be honest with you, this is kind of like my top five fragrances of 2016. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and without further ado, let's get to it. So to kick things off, I'm going to be bringing you a fragrance that quite possibly you haven't heard of before. I hadn't heard of it until this year and I absolutely fell in love with it. I think this is possibly my favourite fragrance of 2016. I've got so much use out of it and it's just really versatile. It's probably my most complimented fragrance as well. So when I wear this, I always have people comment really nice things. So this is from a brand called Clean Reserve and it's their smoked vetiver edition now this actually is a unisex product so this can be for guys and girls this particular fragrance smoked vetiver i feel is quite masculine though so i like to wear this alone their collection in particular they like to promote cross blending fragrances so for example i have one of the fragrances here called suede oud and this product and this product could be blended together and it just makes a nice unique smell so i really like that about this brand it offers something quite unique and different but i'm a guy and this is a guy's fragrance video so this is the product that i would suggest for guys and it's just got a really rich smoky scent to it and it's quite masculine and again it just works at any time any occasion and it just projects a really nice fragrance so this is my first fragrance in today's video and I think that it would make a lovely gift this Christmas. Next up is a fragrance that I very recently acquired and it's Prada La Homme and it's just so classy. This fragrance means business. It's really uncomplicated, it's very sexy, it's very masculine and I just think this is a great product. It feels and looks as good as it smells. I'm very happy to have this in my ammo. I think that this is for a gentleman that knows who he is, he's very professional, very classy and definitely one for the office. It's not too evasive, you're wearing it in the office, you're not going to offend anybody because it's not like letting off blooms of scents and smells. I think this is a great fragrance for that type of guy and if you know somebody that fits that criteria then definitely look at this product. This is a very very good fragrance and it will not disappoint. So for my next fragrance, I actually stumbled across this very recently. This is the newest addition to my fragrance wardrobe. It's Sauvage by Dior and I was recently at Heathrow Airport and this was being advertised on huge billboards. I thought I've got to try that, I've got to give it a smell because I haven't yet. I've seen a few guys talk about this and I've seen this about a bit and it seems to be quite popular. It's definitely a play it safe fragrance. I think that if you're looking to get somebody a fragrance that you're not quite sure on their taste because fragrances can be very, very personal and people can be very particular about the fragrances and the smells that they go for. And I think that this is one of those fragrances that the majority of people are gonna love. I think that you're definitely gonna be playing it safe getting this. So if you're a little bit unsure on what fragrance to get somebody, definitely try out Sauvage by Dior because this fragrance, in my opinion, is a crowd pleaser. I think that you can wear this again in the night, in the evening, in the morning, and it's just gonna work. Definitely a well-deserved top five. I've not had it long enough to try out to see the response it gets from people when I wear it but I can just tell by smelling it that it's going to be a success. So this next fragrance, I think that 99.9% .9 of you watching this would have heard of. It's very popular and it is Dolce & Gabbana The One. Now this fragrance, I think, is very well deserved to be in this video today because it's designed and created by Olivier Perge, who is the man behind Victor & Rolf Spice Bomb, which again is a hugely successful fragrance. The one has a really nice, deep, rich, masculine edge to it. It has tobacco in it, so obviously that's giving it a really masculine feel. But it's also got a really nice underlying vanilla tone. So this fragrance is it's a great balance. I think that it work really, really well for an evening or a date or a dinner. 
Definitely a fragrance that I would stick to wearing in the evening. All in all, I'd rate this fragrance a strong nine out of 10. I completely love it and Lydia actually often asks me to wear this fragrance. So if you want a girlfriend like Lydia, you need to be wearing Dolce Cabana the one because that's the fragrance that she warms to. So it's obviously very popular with the ladies and yeah, I think that this would be a very nice gift to receive on Christmas. You're not gonna disappoint with this either. Last but not least, I bring you from the house of Azaro, Wanted. Now, some of you may recognize this from a trip. I went to the actual launch party in Monte Carlo with Azaro, and that's not why it's being featured in today's video. I genuinely love this product. I've got so much use out of it since I received it, probably about half a year ago. And it's one of those fragrances that again I just find so easy to wear. It's extremely strong so maybe not suitable for the office but definitely suitable for days out and evenings out because it projects such a potent smell. If you want somebody to remember you and you want a scent and a smell to be associated with yourself this is one of those fragrances that's going to do that. It's going to get people talking, it's going to be people asking you what you're wearing and it's going to leave them remembering about your smell. I've used so much of this, there's hardly any left and yeah, it's in a quite a cool bottle as well. It's a barrel of a revolver and the cap's kind of like a bullet which is quite cool. I think this fragrance is very well suited to the young professional and again another fragrance that I would be very happy with to receive this Christmas. That brings my top five fragrances to an end. But just before you go, this is a video to try and help give some gift ideas with fragrances. And as you know, this time of year, brands love to release fragrance gift boxes. So I've got one with me here that I'm gonna show you. Now, I wanted to show you this in particular because I've never actually seen anything like this before. And I think it's a really nice idea. So this is a scent story box and it's available in Boots. And it's basically like a personalized gift box. So if we open it up inside, you can see it says, Ali, the personalized Christmas scent story exclusive to Boots, available now at www.scentstory.co.uk. You can go online, you can personalize the gift box and you can arrange to collect, I'm sure, in Boots. So we open up the page and we have the personalized story. And then if we flick over again, we have the aftershave and we also have a couple of cool travel sized fragrances. So here we have the Armani Diamonds and here we have the Armani Code. These actually come in very handy for travel. So not only do you get the aftershave, but you also get a couple of little travel sized fragrances, which are gonna come in very useful for those weekends away and short breaks. So yeah, I just think that this is a lovely gift alternative. If you don't just wanna buy the fragrance standalone, then you can get something and go that little bit further and get something that little bit more special. So yeah, a great idea for Christmas. And that wraps up today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'd love to hear what you guys love and the fragrances and the colognes that you use because there's nothing better than smelling nice, there's nothing better than smelling fresh. So I want to hear your thoughts. Let me know if you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already, please make sure you do for at least one video a week, sometimes two. We'll see how we go. And yeah, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.